Hi, my name is Phoebe, and today I'm going to go through an in-depth overview of the new modular library and configurator along with the modular creator. We're going to go through what the old version was like compared to this new version, all the different ways in which you can set up your great libraries through the modular wow. library now, and how you can save different styles and all of that stuff. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so we've got quite a few topics to go through. So buckle up. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is old modular mode. Just like bear with me through this. And I promise afterwards, you're gonna be like, thank you for changing. You might even write it in the comments or something. I don't know. First step. We go into modular mode because it was a mode that made it fun. So first thing is now I'm in my mode, modular mode, and I had to go to modular template presets. And this is interesting because now I'm realizing that I don't have a preset that matches this properly. So we're just going to do a t-shirt basic. We have the ribbing, but the problem is with the ribbing that you don't have the collar. So we're going to do basic. And I'm just going to delete that. So that's, for, that's the choice we're making now. Now, here I have my modular like blocks that I now have to put all of my pattern pieces in. Easy peasy. This isn't hard. It's pretty simple. You just select your patterns, and then you drag and drop them in. And great. What you might have noticed here in this 3D window is now things are rearranging. Not great, but it is what's happening. Again, old way. Also, you'll notice that symmetry doesn't apply when you put pattern pieces in these modular blocks. Remember when I said buckle up? I wasn't joking. Um, so here I'm putting my sleeves. Again, the symmetry doesn't matter now. And I'm putting in them all these blocks. Now you might be asking, like, why did you have to do that? It's because all of these blocks have predetermined connections. So because of that, that's why you're able to then put these pattern pieces into these blocks to then determine the the connections that they should be in and also the placements that they should be in. So then you it just like automatically goes through all of them. Now, what I have to do is I now have to sew, re-sew everything. So I sewed everything to make this garment. And now I get to re-sew it all to connect it all to the modular. So I'm going to do the side seams. Um, and again, don't forget that that symmetry thing that we all know and love that makes it so that you only have to do half the work is gone. So you have to do all the work. Again, this is the old version. Like, I'm just showing you what was, so you know what is now, okay? This is was, not what the amazing new revolutionary feature is, okay? The amazing one is coming, don't worry. It's, give me a second. I'm just going to sew through all of this. We kept this in for the people who like a challenge, and they were like, yeah, let's do it. So then you sewed it all, hopefully well, not, this is not the perfect picture. And then you were like, great. Now, how do I save this into the library, right? Because you want the blocks in the library to then play through. Great question. This is what you do. You go to then the like modular preset templates and everything, and now you hit save, right? Because you're saving this. This is going to be called body. I'm going to hit save. Fantastic. I'm going to use the component thumbnail. Fantastic. But I have to come up with another image. So before I did this, I actually took a snapshot. So now I have a snapshot of this. So you always have to make sure you have taken an image first. Um, which I don't know about you guys, but prepping is not always like the thing I'm thinking of when I first be like, when I'm first like, let's make a library. Okay, so then I go into the sleeves and I hit save, and get sleeve, save, right. Um, because now I have that image for the big image. That was what I had to have taken a picture of. Right. Now I have this, and then what I would have to do is then add desktop folder. 
And then here they are. Here it is. My basic and everything. As you see, I, I did this twice. Just click through and see if this works. It kind of does. So then you would have to then go through and figure out what you did wrong in the sewing and redo it all. As you can see, this led to some frustration. However, the idea is an amazing idea. Like this is something I know all of you want, right? Like you want a library within Carl where you can play around, and put different things together. So what we did for you all in 7.2 is we made this so much easier, like crazy easier. Like you should all be doing this easier. Okay, so let's go to the easier section. That is our second part of today's lesson. New modular creator. Workflow option one. Because I think I wouldn't give you guys multiple options. Okay. You congratulations, guys. You all did it. Check done. You have gone through the hard one. And now easy from here on out. Okay. So this is the same sweatshirt. All right. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the first workflow in which I thought of when I we were designing this feature. And it was I have a garment and I want to save it as a block. And I haven't created the group or whatever, and I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Okay. File, save as style. Then the modular creator comes up. Boom. We'll talk a little bit about setting it up in a in a bit. If you saw the well, like intro, don't worry, we cover it. Modular creator. This is it. What you can do is you have group category style block. Group first. Those of you who know closed set because you want a great ecosystem workflow and you're like, yeah, let's do it, can realize that this is very similar to how we set up closed set. Let me tell you, that wasn't a mistake. That was on purpose. Okay. So we've got our group that you can organize it however you want. We will again talk about setup options. But this is like the group. Modular creator. I can select any of the groups that I already have. So again, I just like to carry over first spring. I also can hit this plus button. Okay, you see the plus button? I can hit that. And then I can like bring in things, right? Like I can bring in folders. I can create a new folder, right? Like modular. I don't know, you could say daisy, spring, whatever you want to do it. Modular, great. Select folder. And then now I have the modular folder. Again, I'm going to go with period over spring because I'm leaning into it. You double click and it will go to the next, or you can select it and click category. Double click is stops. Now we have our category, you know, category. Again, I named these all as TOP, top of production samples, because I was like, these are carryover styles. So we have a production like block prepped and ready for you. So you know, like it's proper. However, like for me, I'm going to add in a new one, right? So I'm going to say like TOP woman's sweatshirt. Yeah. You can be like more, you can say anything. It's up to you. It's your world. I'm just living it. So again, I can select it and go to the next. I can double click and go to the next. I'm going to double click. Now we've got the style. This is when the fun begins. And I'm going to hit plus because I'm adding a style because there's never been a style before. Look at that. The thumbnail is already created. Here is a fun tip, okay? This is something fun. If you remember, you know how we have schematic render, and if you don't know, now you do. There's this thing called schematic render. You click on it, it's right here in your 3D toggle. It makes it so everything can kind of look like a sketch if you want it. You can have a texture. Look, if you don't know it, there's a video, I'm sure, in our YouTube channel about it. You're already on our YouTube channel, so you know where to find things. So you can change things, you can do color or texture. I'm going to stick with color and like I could change the brightness around. I like it like this. You can change a lot of things around. Okay. So now when I go to style and I hit plus, do you see how now I have like that sketching image? Because like it just replicates what's in your 3D window. So if you have like a sketch image in the 3D window, then I'll show that. Kind of cool. And then you can name your style. 
So here I'm going to name my style and I'm going to say pullover sweatshirt. Yeah. I don't know. Can't think of anything fun. So I'm going to say use current thumbnail because look at that. I could create a new thumbnail, which would then just lead me into here. And then I could pick something. I'm going to say current. Hit OK. Now I've got this. Now I can click here and we've got our blocks now. Now we're creating those blocks, okay? Don't worry, life is still easy. Um, Two options. You can go to this little file open and guess what I provided to all of you? You all have block presets, you see here? Block presets, you all have it. I know because I gave it to you all during 7.2. You can use any one of these presets to automatically load it in, okay? So I can say I want to load in like the basic set in and hit open, and all of this will automatically load in. So you don't have to like go in and app. You can also save your own. I see that I have front body, back body, sleeve, and collar, but I still need that hem, that pesky hem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this plus button. And in my blocks here, I see that there's a hem option. There's a lot of options, okay? How fun, look through it all. Pick what you want. I'm gonna pick them. You can rename this too. So I can name it Pesky Hemp. I'm not going to, but I could. Um, I'm gonna hit okay, now I have hemp. Now we have the information of what these blocks are. Amazing. I'm gonna now go to front body. And I'm going to select all the pattern pieces that I want to be in that front body block. That front body in the pocket. Okay. Then all I have to do is hit enter on my keyboard. Then look at this. Okay. Image is automatically named. The name is automatically named. And it's even like if you want to do more work, you could create a new thumbnail or you could just let Chloe do the work for you. Up to you. And again, if you wanted to stay on that whole like sketchy vibe, you could, and then you could just select all of this, hit enter, and look at that. It looks like a sketch. Boom. You're like, great. Bada bing. Okay. And then I can go to back body, enter, that, sleeves. Here's a fun trick, okay? Actually. Um what I can do before I like select my piece is now I can select all of this, right click, hide 3D pattern so that I only see this one sleeve. Then I'll select my sleeves. It just makes it so that the image is nicer. Honestly, it's all on how much you care. I've done this enough times that now I care a lot. And then I can do the collar, hit enter, that's all. Because now I don't see anything, I'm just gonna show everything again. And I'm just gonna the collar. Enter. Okay. And last but not least, that pesky hem. Okay. Check and done. Now I have done all of my blocks in a matter of seconds. And I can now hit okay. What Chloe is now doing is it's saying, hey check your taglines because you need to make sure this is all right for tagging. Isn't this so much easier than sewing it all? So easy. Everything's perfect. I'm going to hit OK. Fantastic. Now let's go into our carryover. Look at that. All in. I didn't have to look for it. It's just there. How easy. What I could then do, this is what's going to blow your mind, is now what I could just do is like edit this. So let's say I didn't want the pocket. And now I'm going to hit plus. And I'm going to hit enter. Look at that. Well, you know. Okay. And you see how this is automatically named too? So like this automatically adds the underscore one to it. So like it always will automatically name it. Here's how it names it. So it names it by taking the style name and the block name 
and then it creates that name for you. So this is pullover sweatshirt from body one. This is pullover sweatshirt from body. See, this is pullover sweatshirt back body. That's how it names it. And it will automatically do it for you, but of course you can change it. So some of the great new up updates is you don't have to go into a mode. You can just do it straight. Like you can use all of the amazing tools of sewing, symmetry, all of that that you know and love that we're just used to, to create the garment. And then you just save it as a style when you're done. And you then have it as a whole library that you can switch between whenever you feel like it. And once you've defined each block, like each pattern within the block, you can then start to just play around and edit this. Again, you can check your tie lines. I'm pretty confident in them. Do you know this though? If the tie lines are wrong, you're so that means your sewing was wrong, which means you have to adjust it. So you see how I'm just editing this around because I want to make multiple options to play through. It's very simple to now do. You can also use the style line editor tools to do this really quickly and easily. But no, so here I'm gonna hit enter. Right. And I'm now going to check my the sewing tags. So this is correct. Let's say I don't, this was a little bit off. I can click on this and drag it so that it's longer or anything if I need to. But if this was just like, I don't know, completely wrong, I would have to resew. But again, as long as your sewing is correct, this will be correct. So just double check your sewing and it'll be great. So really easy. Next, what I can just do again, I could use the style line tool. So I can edit a style line or I could move or I could make like bigger or anything. I could scale it. Let's move it. Okay. Obviously me making all of these changes means that this shouldn't be a T.O.P. carryover style anymore. But you can see like now I can make all of these changes and I could save this out as a new file and say like, hey, this is our new block for this season. Let's try it out. But you can see that you can easily make iterations and have a whole library fairly quickly. So next is the new modular library workflow two. So as you saw in this one, we use the same path, like the same garment that we added in as the style, and then we started to edit on top of it and make more iterations. What you might be asking yourself is, hey Phoebe, but what if I have like 10 styles already made and I just wanna pop them all into the library? Don't worry, I thought of you too, okay? What I can say is it's easy too. So here I have already created this fit and flare style I already put in my first dress, like the style has been defined. And this is a new garment file. Okay, I brought this in completely new, completely different. How I would add this in is I could do file, save as style. We already did that. But again, I would just go to style and then I would go to women's it's fashion, fit and flare. And then it's already all in here. And then I would just click through and add these. Now I just check my sewing. So amazing. Now I have this other style in that I had like already off in my world and I can switch between these two. Now, let me add in another dress. So now I'm going to add in another dress. No, this is another nice thing. You actually technically don't have to save your file for it to save in your uh, modular library. It will just automatically save in that modular library and it will be there. I test, I've tested this out quite a few times and I really, really cut it close 
Uh, but it's great because it automatically is saved in here. So I didn't hit save or anything, but these will stay here, as you can see. So here's a completely new file again. It has the same setups and everything. It's the same kind of fit and style. But let's say I wanted to add it while I was in my, my library. That's really simple too. So instead of going to file, save, and style, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this plus button next to the front block. It's going to take me automatically to that modular creator and the block section. And I'm just going to select all of my effects again. Everything's going so well. Okay. Here's my next one. Again, I can start to play around with the different sleeves. I can go through all of it. Quickly switch it all up. Simulate. Yeah. And that is how easy it is to add other garments that you might have made in other project files or garment files. Just drop them in. Either hit this plus button or you can go to file, save as, style. If the style like this has already been defined, meaning that blocks have been attached to it, tags have been made, and you went back to your, you know, style line edit tool, or you started editing this around with your scale style line tool because I don't know what to tell you, but it's pretty amazing tool and it makes it so easy to design and edit in here. But here, let's say I just edited that really quick. I could go to file, save as block, and again, I'll go to my front skirt and then define that because these are already defined. So you, all you have to do is just hit enter and say like, yeah, this is, I just want to add it in. And then it's like, okay, great. Now I'm done. And I just wanted to add those. And you can then scroll through, right? See all of that. Pretty great. All right, I know this has already been a long video. Bear with me because we've got two more things to go through. Now let's go into workflow option three. Wow, you guys are like, how are you still talking right now? Okay, this is a great workflow option. This is when, okay, pretend you're in like an admin or something or a manager or whoever. And you're super excited about the amazingness of modular library and the new modular and all of the things. And you can't wait to get your whole team started in this because you know it's revolutionary and a thing of the future. Okay. But you want to set it up first so that everybody understands the rules and all of that. This is how you could set something up from the beginning. You don't actually need a style in anything. You don't need any of that. What you can just do is you can go from you can just add in. So you can say from the very beginning, you can say, I just want to add, add a group. Now, what you might be asking yourself is, how do I organize this? There are so many ways. You can organize this however best it will work for you, your company, your brand, your factory, your mills. It, well, however you want to organize it, you can organize it. Make sure to make this very open so that everybody is happy. If you're not happy, I guess add to the comments and tell me how we can improve. If you are happy, add to the comments and tell me that you're happy. I don't know. You don't have to. Um, but um, if you're unhappy, definitely write in those comments, okay, so that we can understand now. So here what I'm gonna set it up is with like So let's say add group. So I'm going to just do new folder and I'm going to say uh, men, men's fall 2026. 20, that folder. Great. Now you've added that in. Now I'm going to double click and have a category. So now I'm going to set up a category. Again, this is for the men's fall 2026. I'm going to say 
um, start blocking. Okay. And now this has created again another like section. Now I can create a style. So I don't have anything in my workspace or anything. That's okay. I can just hit plus add style and a placeholder image will be there. You can always change this out to what it will be, but now you can stay in the style. So you can say uh, basic, you can say short sleeve, basic, blocked, and hit okay. And then I can double click and I can then start to add in. So I'm gonna say open block resets. and bring in the base design. And now I have this all set up. So then a new user, let's pretend me, comes in and they say, oh, wow. They realize, oh, I'm gonna have, here's a file I have that I'm gonna bring in. Here I have it, great. So I'm gonna go to fill. Sure. What I could do now is I could right click and change the thumbnail if I wanted to, because I have the, I'm the user and I'm like, oh, I want this. But if I don't, or I can just like not end the admin or whoever can then add it in. What I'll then do is hit add, and then I'll go through exactly as we've gone through before from body, enter, okay, back body, Enter. Okay. Here's something you should know. There's grading applied to this. Here's something really magical that you're all really appreciate. The grading will be safe. So here, the grading is all in here. Again, I can check this. Okay. Swipe this all out. I'll then bring in the shirt again. And you see that this grading was all saved within these blocks. So if you have grading all set up already, you can save that in here too. I know, you're all shocked and excited and happy. I am too. Set up options for the modular library. Kind of touched on this a little bit when I was like, oh, this is your third and final third workflow option, but setup options. So here I have a bunch of different setup options to show you for modular. We have just all the presets, right? The classic men, women presets in which it's all style based. So like, there's a core style and then you have all of these options. You can also do this though in a different way you could do like components. So in here I have the clo component. So that's my group. Here's categories. I have bodies and here's a body. Now I have all these different body options that I can play with that all work as components. I could then go back, right, to style, category, and I could do sleeves. And I can play around with all the different sleeve types. So you can save it out as more, oh, these are all the sleeves, these are all the uh, bodies, these are all of our collars, and you can save it out like that. You can save in dress sleeves. If you also are doing more of a carryover, so you have like carryover styles, TLPs, all of that, and let's say women's graphic tees. So here I have like all these women's graphic tees, what I did here is I actually made sure that there were placements for the graphics to then be placed on specifically for each block that I was adding in. But also if you did carryover and fashion, so let's say that I had spring women shirts, again, this would be a great option where it'd be group like women's fashion for that season. Then you could do categories. Right, so I did fashion blocks for 2025. 20, then I did categories, spring women's shirts. 
And now I have all the bodies for spring women's shirts that I can play around with and it, like edit and adjust. I have all the sleeves. So I have like my own little sleeve block library that I could play around with and adjust. I have different collars that I could play around with. I have hems. And you can then build out a library like that so that you almost, how we all have that like sketch library in uh, Illustrator, we could do that here where you are just like, oh, here's like a puff sleeve that we always use and it looks like this. Let's just drop it in. Here's a raglan sleeve. It's okay that this is set in. We'll just drop this in and we'll start to sketch and draw and like say this is different. Oh, this is how we have our collars, but this doesn't exactly fit the body, but it's fine, right? So you can start to really play around with these different options and everything. I even added in pleats. So like, see with this like fashion, I have a pleats front with this kind of sleeve. No, not everything works perfectly, but it's fine because it will, right? And it's looking good. So you can like play around with all of this stuff and edit and adjust it. You can really set this up however you it works best. If you are going to do a component, just remember that the whole style has to be defined. So what I mean by that is if I bring in this button down, I cannot just pop in these sleeves for if you're going to do components and everything, know this, okay? You have stuck around this long, so pay attention. For the component stuff, it, like let's say I have this button down, right? I brought this in, the sleeves and everything, and I want to add this, these sleeves into this spring women's like fashion, right? I can't just go into sleeves plus add in and like add in these sleeves, okay? If I do, I'll hit enter and I'll have the sleeves. And you'll see once the tagline thing pops up that there's nowhere for this to be so like there's no tags. So if I then hit it, okay. And I just leave this. When I'm bringing these sleeves, you'll see that there isn't any sewing. Okay, if I switch to these sleeves, there's sewing. Switch to these sleeves, there's no sewing. So if I simulate, nothing will connect. Okay, what do you do then? Right? Great question. So let's bring the button down back in. Here it is, great. Everything's all sung, everything's fantastic. I'm gonna delete. What I do is, what you need to do is you need to define this whole style. So you need to define, because you need, Chloe needs to understand, right now this style is just like a style. It does not know how these are all connected. Even if you said sleeve block, it's like, okay, sleeve block to what? Like you don't have a body block to sew the sleeve block to, so like there's no connections. That's how the thought is thinking. So what you have to do is you have to then say like, this is the connection, here's the body, this is how the sleeve is connected to the body. So what I do is category, and what I'll do is I'll hit add category and I'll say full styles. This is my workaround so far. So I'll say full styles and then I'll say like add button down. Then I'll hit okay. And I'll then create the block section. So front and on. Okay. Then on the plus and I'll do the front. And now Chloe understands, okay, so this, like, this is how the sleeve connects. And then I'm like, okay. Fantastic. What you'll then do is you'll go back to your category. Uh, 
and I can now add in these leaves because now Clo, now like this pattern and everything is defined. It knows. It knows that these sleeves are here. It knows how it's sewn together and there will be tagging. So now there's going to be tagging because it now understands like even this is part of it. And I'll say, okay. And it will even work for this body. This. And you see now how there's sewing. It will even work for this and everything. And it will even work for, I believe, the collar. So you can see that even you just need everything to be defined and then it will all work out. It, that's just the only thing that needs to happen. So that is all. Thank you all so much for staying with me, going through all of it. If you needed to jump around, don't worry, I completely understand. Uh, this was a long video, but I hope you know a lot more about modular you understand it a little bit more and you are playing around with it so much and using it it's like really going to be so beneficial to all of your workflows and just improving your lives I think a lot if you have any questions please 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 use those comment sections below we do monitor them and we're constantly trying to answer them and help you up better if you have any thoughts about how this can be improved can't wait to hear it and really looking forward to all of the comments and thoughts here. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to like and subscribe because there's so many great videos as I talked about earlier. And there's just a ton of ways to help you out here. But thank you again and have a great day.